Hello guys, this is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions and this is benchmarking between the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus versus the Galaxy Note 5 versus the Galaxy Note 4. Hey guys, I'm back with another video and it's benchmarking time between the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus versus the Galaxy Note 5 versus the Galaxy Note 4. So today we're going to run some benchmarking to see which device is the, is the fastest. So let's go on and commence the benchmarking. First thing I want to do is make sure all devices, RAM is clear. Alright, we're going to run four benchmarks today on 2.2 Geekbench Quadrant and 3D Mark. So let the battles begin. All right, and we're gonna start the test and see what phone comes on up top. I got the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus in gold platinum, gorgeous phone. Watch my unboxing video and uh, it's definitely a great phone. I love it. And sneaking in the, the video here, I got the Galaxy Note 1. This was started the family, guys, right here, the Galaxy Note 1. The Galaxy Note 6 Edge Plus have the Exynos processor along with the Galaxy Note 5. Both of them share the same processors. Both of them have four gigs of RAM. Both of them have a 5.7 inch Super AMOLED screen. Both of them have a five megapixel camera in the front, a 16 megapixel camera in the back, fingerprint scanners, and a 3000 milliamp battery that comes with in the 64 bit. So yes, yeah, these two phones are beasts. And don't forget about the S Pen on the Note series. The little clicky S Pen. And on the Note 4, uh, this thing come in, it has a Snapdragon 805 processor uh, with three gigs of RAM, a 5.7 inch screen, um, and it's a gorgeous device. It, uh, it definitely is a great device at this time. But let's see who's the winner of this benchmark test. All right. So here it is. The Note 4 has 2560 by 1440 screen resolution, and the Note 5 also have uh, 2560 by 1440, and the uh, Galaxy S6 Edge Plus also had the same resolution. All right, let's put these all together here. See if I can get a close up on that. Yes, runs great. Very, very smooth, very smooth, very smooth. The screens are gorgeous on these devices. And the incumbent, great. Okay, test is done. And let's see who comes out on top here. The Galaxy S6 Edge Plus ran a score of 71,000 even, look at that. The Note 5 has 68,716, which the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus beat the Galaxy Note. And incumbent, the Galaxy Note 4 has 52,927. All right, so what we're going to do now, since we got those scores, we're going to close out here. Go ahead on and clear it. Okay, next benchmark we're going to run is Geekbench 3. Okay, and so let's take a look at these screens for a second. The Galaxy Note 5 has a wider screen kind of brighter screen I got all these devices set on Mac uh, on halfway brightness if you notice that the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus screen is a little cooler 
I don't know if you can see that in the video, but look at that screen. It's a little cooler than the Note 5. Okay, and we got four gigs around, four gigs around, and three gigs around. Let's go ahead on and run benchmark. Okay, so we have a score here. Uh, single core, the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus has 1486 single core, 5197 multi core. The Galaxy, uh, the Note 5 has 1489 single core and 4867 multi core. And the incumbent, the uh, Galaxy Note 4, 1097 and 3390 multi core. So the, right now, the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus is beating the Note 5. So let's do a temperature chest test. Uh, device is cool, device is cool, and device is cool. Okay, make sure we all good here. Okay, so let's go on and run Quadrant on all devices. We're gonna run full benchmark. So we have the benchmark test done and we're gonna hit yes, yes, yes. All right, here we go. The Galaxy S6 Plus Edge, Edge Plus is uh, 34,963. See if we can get that in the screen there. And the Note 5 is 35,031. And the Note 4, 27,813, of course. Okay, guys, got the test running. And this, again, this is an intensive test. Uh, most of the phones is running about four frames per second. Definitely, definitely an intensive test. I don't know any phone that can run this test smoothly. It really put the GPU and the CPU to the test. Uh, so basically, all phones is running about five frames per second the note 4 is running about four frames per second uh so let's do a temperature test uh the uh, s6 edge is pretty warm in the back so we should have we probably have some thermal throttling going on yes the note 5 is warm oh yeah the galaxy note 4 is warm at this point, we're probably having a lot of throttling. Uh, so we're going to just go ahead and let this run. And let's see what the result's going to be at the end. Okay, so the test is done. So let's look at the results here. Okay, the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus came out with a 1281. The Note 5 came out with a 1224. And the Note 4 is 12 10 so not bad score at all guys not bad score all right so we're done here benchmarking on the galaxy s6 edge plus what a mouthful and the note 5 here and the note 4. Stay tuned to Easy Computer Solutions, guys. I'm going to have a lot more videos uh, coming up about all these devices here, especially the, the newer ones here, the Edge. I got a couple of videos coming out for the Edge and the Note 5. Gorgeous display, gorgeous back, and you got to check out them edges there. Beautiful phone. I got a lot more, so stay tuned to Easy Computer Solutions. See you on the next video. Peace.